Hey guys, this is Tuus, coming at you with another Black Ops video. We talked a little bit about zombies in the Black Ops review video that we have, and we just wanted to make this video to clear it for you, clarify it for you guys, so hope you like it. In zombies, you, you start with a pistol, and you can go around to buy guns. Right now, if you look on the bottom screen, I just bought a, a gun which is a shotgun. Um, you have to pay if you unlock doors, which I'll show you a door. If you look on the bottom of the screen, here's a door that you have to pay to unlock. So that's, you go down there when attacks start to get harder, and then you'll, and you go down there so you get safer and you'll get better in it. Um, zombies come through this door, which I'm facing on the bottom the screen. They come through, they rip it open, and then it's your job to rebuild it. They'll knock it apart, you have to kill them, and then you press X to fix it. Um, in Zombies, there are three different maps. <clears throat> when you first get it, you start out with only Kino Dare Toten which is what we're playing on right now. It's basically just the big mansion that you want to get through. Um, just millions of zombies coming at you to see how long you can survive. Uh, this, there's two other maps that there's a special secret way to unlock them, which we just actually figured out today. And I'll tell you what it is. On the main screen, at the main menu, you know how your guy is in like a, an electrical chair thing? You want to... Just repeatedly press RT and LT over and over, and you'll see his hands kind of shaking. And then you'll break free out of the chair, and you can walk around the lab that you're in. Then you can walk over behind the chair, there's a little computer. You can go up to it and hold down X to activate it. Then a little keyboard will come up on the screen. And you type in 3ARC space unlock. And that's all there is to it. You just press enter after that. And if you go back to the zombie screen, you should have the two new maps. And the second map, if you unlock it, is called 5. It's basically you're just in the Pentagon trying to defend it. You're just a bunch of businessmen. Then the third map is... It's like an arcade game. I personally think it's pretty stupid. I mean, I do is, it's like, literally an arcade game, it's kind of boring, I don't really understand the point of it, there's not much to do, I prefer 5 or Kino Dare Toten when I'm playing zombies, I don't know about you guys, that's just my opinion. Um, you have three different types of power-ups that you can use to help you when you're trying to complete the mission. <clears throat> the first one is two times the points, which means you you get when if you get a hundred points and two point times you get really two hundred points. Um, the bomb is something that when you're in trouble you um yeah it comes randomly so you don't really know what's coming and you just. You, there's, it's green, you go into it, and it says, bomb, and then all the zombies go on fire. And that one's the best power-up. And then there's insta-kill, which means that you, you you can kill someone with one a pistol, one, a pist one shot kill pistol, which I just got right now, if you saw on the bottom screen. Also in Zombies, there's pretty much every weapon in the game that you can think of is going to be in Zombies. But, I think there's really five or four really helpful guns. And that is the Olympian, which is the shotgun that on the top screen I'm using right now. And, um, it's a very helpful double barrel shotgun. One hit kills most of the time. You can see I just killed that dog with a one hit kill. Just like that. On the top screen. Um, the only problem is with it, it takes a while to reload, so if there's a bunch of zombies coming at you. You're gonna get pretty ticked off if you're trying to reload and you got like 10 zombies attacking you. 
It can get pretty frustrating. But all in all, it's a good gun. <laughs>